New parking pay stations are located throughout downtown Tampa. The standalone solar-powered stations are convenient and easy to use. The new pay stations provide more payment options. You can still use nickels, dimes, and quarters, but if you're out of change, it's no problem. Just swipe your Visa or MasterCard, credit or debit. Parking Division Manager Jim Corbett explains. This is the city's latest initiative for on-street parking. It is a solar-powered machine that we've got located in the middle of each block downtown. When a motorist pulls up to a space on street, they'll identify that space by the meter post that's been left in place. On top of that meter post, you'll find a four-digit space placard that will tell you your space number for that space. You simply take that four-digit number to the pay station in the center of the block. Once you turn on the machine by waking up the solar power initiative, you'll enter in your four-digit space number and then it'll ask you to make your payment for parking. So at that point, you can either begin inserting coin, will give you an incremental increase for each coin that you put in, or you can insert your credit card and pull your credit card out. At that point, it will ask you if you want to pay for additional time beyond the one hour limit. So you can add 15 minutes each with each increment of the credit card. And simply that's it. Once you've entered the amount of time in with your credit card that you want to pay or your coin, you hit the OK button and you will get a receipt. Now again, you don't have to play, display that receipt on your dashboard. The receipt is just a reminder that says that you have paid this space for this duration of time limit. Uh, for credit card users, it will also serve as your credit card receipt. Parking Again, enforcement and specialist and Felix and Rivera. Let's say you have to go to five different places. You have to go to the county courthouse. You have to go to the courthouse, the county center. And when you look at your time, you're like, oh my goodness, my time is getting ready to expire. You can go downstairs, the first space station you find, you add time to you wherever your vehicle is, and you can go back into the building and go ahead and do whatever you have to do instead of having to run all the way back to your vehicle. For persons with disabilities, the same free parking initiative still applies. For the disabled community, we have an option that um, uh, adheres to Florida state statutes. All of the disabled patrons will be required to, when they park at a regular time limit space, they will be required to interact with the machine. Instead of pushing the purchase parking, they will push the disabled parking option. Once you've done that, you will get a receipt from the machine that will tell you that your parking is free for a four hour duration period. Once that time expires, you'll either be required to come back to the machine and pay the machine or relocate to another space downtown. In addition to that, we have our 33 permanently designated disabled spaces. That, as you'll notice, those are marked by the uh, permanent disabled parking only signs downtown. There'll be no requirement to interact with the machine at all with, with those spaces. You'll find these pay stations located mid-block throughout downtown. For additional details, Log on to tampagov.net slash parking. For Spotlight Tampa, this is Carrie Poulos.